So I just got off from work about, well, I got off from work like over 40 minutes ago and it's taken me that long to get to Walmart. I had to take the long back road area so that I would arrive conveniently at Walmart without having to backtrack a lot, but I'm thinking I probably could have saved a little bit of time actually backtracking given the traffic that I had to wait in. But I'm here at Walmart because I found out today while I was at work, I got a phone call and I'm getting a kitten when I go home. So I'm here to pick up a litter box and maybe a few other things for it and some more food for it. But it's been, well, it's been close to two years since we've had a cat. Um, and I grew up with cats, so... I'm excited to have another little kitty again. Mission get kitty litter pan and canned cat food accomplished. Next step, make it home safely. Let's hope. Hi everybody, it's really hot and I'm sweaty and I have no air conditioning in my car. And I just went to Michael's and Ulta and TJ Maxx and didn't really find anything. Actually, I did find some stuff at Ulta, but then I talked myself out of buying it because I wanted to come here. This is the newer Dollar Tree that I was talking about. So this is my first time at this location, and it's behind me if you can or cannot see it. I don't know, but anyway, so I'm getting ready to check it out, and we'll see how exciting it is, if it's exciting at all or if it's bleh. Anyway, yeah. Okay, first impressions. This store is a little bit bigger than the one I normally go to. I think I'm going to pick up some kitty toys while I'm here. And let's see, the layout is definitely different, which I think it is at all Dollar Trees. I think they have similar layouts, but yeah, yeah, different. Anyway, here's the little arts and crafts section. Not really a whole lot. The cosmetic section. So I'm back from Dollar Tree. While I was there, I tried to film, but then there are a lot of people around in there, and it was really awkward. And yeah, so I think I got a little bit of fudge, but not a lot of fudge. But I'll show you what I got from there. And after Dollar Tree, I went to Walgreens, as I thought I'd stop by for the heck of it. But the Walgreens near me. Then I went to, I was looking for some Wet n Wild stuff, but they don't really have a lot of Wet n Wild stuff. And then I saw in the sell ad something about how the, was it Sinful Colors nail polish, is that the one that they carry? I always get Walgreens, the line that they carry mixed up with the line that CBS carries, but whichever one it is that Walgreens carries. I think it says some like card members could get for 99 cents, but it wasn't really advertised in the store, and since it wasn't advertised in the store, didn't want to bother with it because I hate it when you go to check out and the price isn't right and it's a whole big mess and I didn't have a flyer on me and I didn't want to go track and flyer down so I just wanted to avoid that to begin with since the signs weren't up. So yeah. So I'll show you all what I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you something that was mentioned in my last haul. Oh it's heavy. I was looking around at that Dollar Tree, and I was talking about how I got some starter mix, and I thought it was potting soul, and then when I got it, I realized it's starter mix, and I was like, oh, well, whatever. I found this nice eight-pound bag of potting soul, which I would have gotten more bags, or more than one bag, but I got something else, too, that I had to carry that was pretty heavy, so I wanted to avoid having to carry too much. But, yeah, so one big bag of, I think it's like eight pound bag, yeah, eight pound bag of potting school. So, hooray for that. And the next thing I got, a nice, how many pounds, a nice seven pound bag of kitty litter. Which, since we only have one kitty now, there's no sense of having fancy multi-purpose kitty litter, and so this is probably the cheapest way for me to get kitty litter is to go buy a seven pound bag at the dollar store. So, I think I showed y'all a little bit of the, like, the pet aisle there, and there's so much going on around here. Okay, but I got a little kitty litter scoop 
I think we might still have one somewhere, but if not, we've got another one. And, of course, I got her some toys. I got this little mousy, elastic-y thing on the little stick. And then I got her this little furry tail thing on a stick. Everything is on the stick in the cat world. And since this is next up in the sack, I got some of this Kashi Goline Vanilla Graham Cluster Cereal. I'm not really a big fan of vanilla flavoring, so we'll see how this turns out. If not, my dad can eat it, whatever. I got this little three pack of mini flower pots because they look cool. And I could probably use them in like sprouting seeds. Who knows? I don't know. It might be neat. Little three pack of kitty toys. There's some kind of little like twine ropey thing in here. A little pom pom, which I'm not too crazy about the pom pom. I don't know if I like the idea of the kitty playing with that. And then a little plastic ball with a bell inside. And then, because apparently I've got an obsession with these now, they had three packs of the little socks. So this one has like, well, it's gray with a little rainbow leopard print. And, well, neon rainbow leopard print. And a little stripey neon colors. And then just a plain pair of gray with the little purple heel and toe. And then I got these that had a little rainbow hearts. A little plain pair of white. And a little plain pair of like this pink color. So that's it from the Dollar Tree haul. I think I did pretty good this time around. Um, I'm not super impressed with the new Dollar Tree. It was a little bit bigger, but to compensate for that, they just had a lot more of the regular stuff and stock out on the floor. So, it, mine was like, ugh. Dollar Tree I normally go to is kind of, well, it is smaller, so things are crammed a little bit more together. And there, it's just like everything was just kind of spread out. Yeah, but, um, they had like the potting soul. That was something. So, um, they didn't have starter mix. <laughs> they just had the potting soul. So it's like they kind of, if you need one, you go to one Dollar Tree. If you need the other, you go to the other Dollar Tree. But as far as cosmetics go, they didn't really have anything different except for they had those Sally, ugh, Sally Hansen nail strip things. I guess they're nail strips. Those little polished things say that they last up to 10 days and they had several different patterns but they all just kind of bored me and like they had some solid colored ones too but again those bore me um yeah so that was an exciting little trip and then did I already mention I think I did yeah I already talked about all green so okay <laughs> redundancy so I think um, if I can get some footage of the kitty, when I came home from Walmart and work yesterday, um, the kitty she's very friendly, like really friendly, but she's I guess she's shy. I mean she's in a whole new environment. She was a barn kitty. She's born in a barn and stayed in the barn, and she's like five months old now I think, and she. She likes people, it seems, and she's not too afraid of the big German Shepherd that we have who's old and kind of slow, so it's not like the dog can go after her. But I think she's coming around like she stayed under the bed all day yesterday when I got home. So, and she'd let me pet her like she'd come to me like if I had my hand under the bed or I could kind of get her to peek her head out. But she wouldn't want to actually come out from under the bed willingly. But today we've got her kind of coming out and about and moving around. So it's cool. I guess that's all for now, folks.